Kilo 3 Alpha Charlie. Kilo 3 Alpha Charlie, who we got there? What's the name? Kilo 3 Alpha Charlie, who we got there? What's the name? Yeah, my name is Bob, Boston Ocean, Boston, and we're located in the Philadelphia, Pennsylvania area, about halfway between Philly and Trent, New Jersey, uh, near the Delaware River. Beautiful signal into southeastern PA uh, this afternoon, and uh, we have spoken before. It's been a while, though. Uh, back to you. This is K3AC. Roger, roger, Bob, and uh, what radio are you running this afternoon? Roger, Roger, Bob, and uh, what uh, radio are you running this afternoon? Well, we are the proud owner of a uh, new Elecraft K4, uh, running about uh, 1,150 watts uh, with the amplifier into a 80-meter uh, uh, doublet at 60 feet. Over. Roger, Roger. Well, if you'd be interested in our setup procedure, it starts with you uh, uh, double-checking to be sure you're in the 100 to 2900 uh, wide bandpass mode. The 100 to 2900 uh, wide bandpass mode. We are actually running uh, the uh, enhanced single sideband mode, uh, uh, and uh, we're running it uh, 100 to 3800. Uh, we're running a little wide, which we uh, use on uh, 80 meter rag two nets there, uh, so we haven't changed that. We can turn it off uh, if you want to uh, tell us uh, the difference there. Over. Uh, well, I'd prefer that you run uh, 2900 uh, on this frequency when we're there. We have other nets uh, trying to operate in this uh, confined area there, and uh, if you get too too broad, uh, you get people coming to look for you with pitchforks. Too broad, uh, you get people coming to look for you with pitchforks. Okay, we turn the uh, enhanced single sideband uh, mode off. There was at uh, we're at uh, 2800 here. Over. Uh, do you do you not have a 2900 uh, um, capability? Do you not have a 2900 uh, um, capability? Uh, that is the factory default uh, bandwidth, uh, 100 to 2800. All righty. Well, that's gosh, uh, that's. Uh uh, hey, can you manually put in a 2900? I'm just curious because, uh, you know, uh, t that is uh, pretty much considered wide is 100 to 2900. Uh, if you have the capability, uh, y you know, when we start looking at audio, uh, the audio is uh, affected by the uh, bandpass, you know. When you, when you uh, move it down to 2800, you're, you're attenuating some of those top end that would be a uh, nice in articulation, you know, and and also it would. Yeah, when you do that, then uh, you know you, we're not sure about what EQ to crank in because you're actually terminating some of your top end by that 2800 uh, band pass mode. Your top end by that 2800 uh, band pass mode. Okay, uh, we didn't get your handle or QTH here, and I don't remember it. I'm at uh, 3KC wide now. Uh, that's about uh, as close as I can come to 2900. Over. Yes, okay, Roger. The name here is Jim Juliet India Mike. The call is Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo Victor. And this is the uh, Friday afternoon QSO Vlog Net, where we help people. Uh, uh, with their radios, and we also are recording. So, if uh, you wanted to hear your radio, if you go to YouTube and do a call at a search for KC9VKV followed by the word logbook, that will take you to this recording. It'll be cut number one of uh, 2900 QSOV Lego check recordings, and we'll have it uploaded by tomorrow. Now, if you if you might be interested in a further uh, setup, uh, we do uh, go to the compressor. Uh, engaged at a three. It's a token amount, something you'll never hear on the air, but we're moving towards a three dB dynamic range as an end result, and that uh, three on the compressor helps us uh, get it there. Roger, Roger. Uh, three on the compressor helps us uh, get it there. Roger, Roger. We are on three on the compressor, which is uh, where we uh, usually leave it there, Jim. So we're way ahead of you. How do we sound, by the way? Well, uh, let's go to your ALC and uh, double check your level there. See if we can get that 3 dB dynamic range. 
Uh, so you uh, go to your ALC with mic gain in hand, and as you say the magic word, audio, and you say it, don't stress it, just say it sh- as you would any other word in a QSO, audio, and uh, you adjust your mic gain until your ALC meter is ready, running mid-scale to two-thirds. Mid-scale to two-thirds on your ALC by mic gain manipulation as you say the magic word, audio. Gain manipulation as you say the magic word, Audio. Okay, KC9, BKV from K3AC, and uh, here we go with audio. Okay, now uh, the K4 gym uh, does not give you your typical ALC meter reading with the, uh, you know, the colored band and you keep it at uh, two-thirds and all that. It's a small ALC uh, meter a horizontal bar graph, and uh, the manufacturer recommends it be kept between 5 and 7. What those numbers mean, I have no idea, but that's where we're hitting it now, right about halfway between number 5 and the full scale of number 7, with the compression on at 3. Over. Roger, well, you are at 3 dB dynamic range, which means your average percent of peak modulation is running 80 to 85 percent. So that's uh, exactly where uh, we want it to be there. You know, you can uh, make that uh, um, dynamic range at 2 dB or 1 dB, but the problem is when you, f- when you go past a dynamic range of 3 dB and continue to squash it, it starts to blur and it becomes more difficult to understand. And what we're trying to do is to create a signal that is maximum uh, understandability with a maximum uh, volume. So we've found that 3 dB is the, the, the perfect uh, compromise for that, Roger. found that 3 dB is the, the, the perfect uh, compromise for that, Roger. Yeah, Roger, Roger. Yeah, okay, very good. Well, we, um, uh, with the president microphone set up, we have uh, listened to uh, our transmit signal. Uh, feature that you may not be aware of. It's called TX Test, uh, where you uh, activate this uh, TX Test and it will uh, allow you to set your uh, mic gain, your compression, uh, and listen to it on the uh, uh, through headphones on the built-in monitor circuit without uh, transmitting any RF. You don't need a dummy load. You can set all that up. You don't send any power out to the antenna. Uh, it's a very nice feature that I don't think any other modern transceiver has that I'm aware of, but uh, just thought I'd let you know because uh, you uh, specialize in audio there. So back to you, KC9VCV from K3AC. Roger, Roger, Bob. Uh, call is Kilo Charlie 9 Victor, Kilo Victor. And uh, uh, that radio does sound really good. Uh, just getting a little bit of mouth noise there. Is Are you working a hand mic or are you working a, a desk mic? There is, are you working a hand mic or are you working a, a desk mic? We're running a uh, professional desk mic, the model Electro Voice RE20, uh, the big uh, uh, wide dynamic uh, range. We do not have a pop filter on it. Uh, we didn't uh, stick that on there yet. We just recently changed mics. But uh, uh, w- uh, give me a transmission. I'll stick this pop filter on. Over. Yes, sir, yeah. I would really uh, be in favor of the foam uh, windscreens. They do so much uh, good. Uh, I am, uh, you know, usually uh, hem shacks are not uh, ideally suited acoustically for... Uh, microphones and uh, such, but um, I, so I do uh, suggest uh, tight miking, but uh, you know, you, I think you have to use a foam windscreen to do that. Uh, that's what we're doing. We're right on the mic uh, here, uh, but you know, then when you do that, you have to EQ for that uh, proximity effect like that, But and that's what we've done. But uh, anyway, uh, let me hear you with the uh, foam windscreen on. But uh, anyway, uh, let me hear you with the uh, foam windscreen on. Yeah, okay, very good. Uh, W, I'm sorry, KC9V, 
KV from K3AC. Okay, uh, Jim, we have the uh, phone windscreen on now. Looks like uh, our settings are pretty much the same. We didn't adjust mic gain. Uh, you may want to, uh, and it looks like uh, uh, we're hitting about the same uh, uh, same level of modulation we did before. So if that, uh, uh, let us know if that took any out any uh, uh, sibilance there. Uh, or I guess they call it uh, the audio game plosives. Uh, plosives, uh, <laughs> when uh, you hear that uh, P uh, sound. Back to you, K3AC. Yeah, Roger, Bob. Well, there's all kinds of noises there that, uh, in addition to plosives, uh, just a general gyration of mouth noises that uh, a foam windscreen just takes out, just filters out, and just leaves the good stuff, takes all the bad stuff out. <laughs> and, uh, you know, uh, I have I don't think I've ever heard a, a bad foam windscreen that actually attenuates uh, uh, the syllabic range, you know? That actually attenuates... Uh uh, the Southern range, you know. Yeah, I agree. I agree. No, uh, we have several uh, windscreens here, and uh, they all uh, work about the same. They don't seem to knock down, uh, you know, the uh, audio amplitude. So uh, we usually keep one on, uh, but we just changed mics, so we, we didn't have uh, one on there. Anyway, uh, appreciate all the help there, Jim. I'll let you carry on. I know there's probably a lot of guys looking to speak to you. And um, nice to hear you again. Uh, you have a, a nice uh, rest of your afternoon there and uh, evening, and enjoy the weekend. Uh, back to you, KC9 VKV from K3AC. Roger, Roger. Bob, and just a note, uh, our set has a... Uh, a spectrum analyzer on it, uh, and the spectrum analyzer has uh, three white marks on it. The white mark to the furthest left denotes 100 cycles. Uh, the uh, white mark to the further uh, closest to the right is uh, 1kc, then there's a black area which is 2kc, then there's another white uh, line which is uh, uh, 4kc. So just to explain the uh, the uh, the meter there a little bit in its operation and it looks like uh, you, you're probably rolling off on the bottom end there probably at about uh, 300 uh, cycles or so but obviously I'm using uh, uh, Georgia SDR and they are notorious for rolling off uh, lower frequencies I wish I could have gotten you on my uh, my home uh, uh, system which is good down to uh, 100 cycles Roger uh, system which is good down to uh, 100 cycles Roger Roger, Roger. By the way, Jim, uh, what uh, what is your setup there? Uh, I don't think I recall uh, microphone-wise. Over. Uh, this is a homebrew uh, condenser microphone into an art preamp, uh, into uh, some EQ, and then into a 7300. We just started running the 7300 here in the past uh uh, two or three weeks we've been using a uh, pretty highly modified uh, uh, 990 uh, before that, Roger. Uh, uh, 990 uh, before that, Roger. Roger, Roger. Yeah, very nice, very nice. Yeah, the condenser mic uh, uh, and uh, the uh, preamp there sounds very good. And the 7300, very nice radio. Uh, we uh, have uh, one of those too, but uh, not uh, uh, hooked up at the present time. Okay, thanks very much, Jim. Appreciate all the help, and uh, we'll uh, check uh, check back again uh, next Friday, and we'll let you carry on there. KC9 VKV from K3AC. Roger, Roger, Bob. And again, uh, we'll have this uploaded uh, to uh, YouTube by uh, noon tomorrow. If you want to hear your radio, it should be um, KC9VKV Logbook on a YouTube search. And we'll have it uploaded by noon tomorrow. 73, sir. This is the Friday afternoon QSO VlogNet. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. Oh, VlogNet. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout.